All right, so we got this game. All right, so we... So what was that? They sent us this game, Shape Up. So we were sent this game, Shape Up, to be... So me and my buddy Zeus here, we sent this game... So me and my buddy Zeus here, we sent this game Shape Up to be played on Xbox One. What do you think of this? All right, so this is a sponsored video, but let's be honest. You guys would rather hear me and my awesome dog Zeus talk about a video game than hear Mike Chang talk about his magic red drink. So this game is called Shape Up. It's for the Xbox One only, where you could play against yourself or compete against other people with various workouts while playing a video game. So you could do push-ups with elephants on your back. You can run on a piano or you could deep squat yourself to the moon. And it sounds like they got a lot of the ideas from CrossFit. <laughs> but either way, I will have a link in the description box below and also an annotation on the screen if you want to check out the video game trailer to see what kind of things you could do with this game. Essentially, I would say it's cooler than P90X and Insanity because you could still work out from home, but you can level up and play a video game and keep track of all your stats and all that good stuff. So I'll link the information in the description box below if you want to go ahead and check out this game called Shape Up. I do believe Brandon Campbell and Michael Corey both play this game religiously, but you'll just have to find out and ask them yourself. So that's Shape Up for the Xbox One. What's going on everybody? It is Monday, November 11th around 1 p.m. heading to the gym. First things first, I wanna say happy Veterans Day and thank you to all of those out there for your service. I'm sure people watching this channel fall under that category and I have personal family and friends who do as well. So just wanna give a huge thank you to all of you for that. Um, we are in the gym. This is week four, training day number one. So it is the final week of this phase of this program and I know I'm starting out the training session with bench press but I don't think I'm going to film it simply because I bench press three times a week and a lot of the footage has been bench pressing so maybe I'll film a few sets but I'll try and incorporate some other stuff into there as well. Uh, a little recap of what's been going on. I know the last video I posted was a couple of days old. November 9th, this past Sunday, was my 27th birthday. And I want to say thank you to everyone out there who wished me a happy birthday. I know I'm friends with a lot of you guys on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that good stuff. So thank you guys for that. A lot of people were curious if I hit the gym, if I had a cheat meal, if I binged and went all out. I did not go to the gym on my actual birthday. It was actually those next two days were a rest day. So... Today's my first day back in the gym after a Sunday and Monday off. Pretty excited for that. Did I cheat on the weekends? I didn't really go too crazy Saturday. During the day, I hit the gym. I went out with my friends Saturday night, which was November 8th. We just kind of went to a restaurant, got some appetizers, and had a few drinks, then went back home, back to my house. Then into Sunday, which was my actual birthday, we pretty much hung out, watched football all day, had a bunch of people over my house and just had a good time, relaxed with some friends and families. But we're back on the grind. Today's a new day, November 11th. Not feeling any older, but I am 27. I know I look like I'm 15 and have the physique of a nine year old, but we're at the gym. We're gonna go in there and film a little bit for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in just a minute. All right, what's going on guys? So I'm in the back area of my gym. I figured before I even go inside, I'll just come out here and do some of my mobility work, mainly because it's mid-November here in New York and it's in the 60s right now, which is not very common. If you're from New York, you know that it's usually pretty damn cold around this time of year. We've already had some days in the low 30s, 40s, so I'm taking advantage of this. As you can tell, I'm rocking a stringer and I'm not cold, which is very rare since I'm always cold. But for my mobility work, I use this mini band. That's pretty much the majority of my mobility work. I've talked about this in a few videos before. I like to do these shoulder dislocates here by keeping a neutral core so we're not bending backwards like this. We want to keep our body completely vertical, core tight, and just get those shoulders warmed up here. And the same goes for around the world. I'll show you from the front. So we're just going like this, coming around and really just getting those shoulders mobile before we go in and bench press. You could do this really before back exercises or whatever you want. It's really just to kind of loosen up the shoulders and everything. You could do some arm circles. Remember we used to do these in elementary school. I still believe they have a lot of value to them. And then I do some band pull aparts right here. And I'll usually come over here and see if we can get this set up. I'll hit some wall slides. So just coming on the wall here, flat against the wall, up and down and just enough so I feel mobile enough to start my training session. You know, 
a lot of people <clears throat> take mobility way too far. I do value mobility, I think it's important, but if your training session is an hour long and you're spending a half hour on mobility, there's probably something a little wrong there. So I just recommend doing a little bit each day and that will keep you mobile so you don't have to spend an hour in the gym before you even start training on mobility work. So I'm gonna finish up out here, then head inside and start training. All right, so I know I said I wasn't going to film any bench press, but I did, <laughs> just a couple of sets here. And what you see me doing now is actually setting up a voice recorder app so I could do a live voiceover and commentary while lifting. All right, so we got a warm up set here, 135. Sun right in my eye right here. But what we're focusing on even during these warm up sets is setting up the same way you would as if you were going for a max bench press. So you wanna get those shoulder blades back tight, get that arch in your back, get your grip where you want it, squeeze the hell out of that bar, tighten up those lats, squeeze the glutes, lift off, and bench. Pause, explode. All right, so we're gonna hit one more warm-up set here. Set up the same way. Some people are looking at me, just don't care. <laughs> but anyway, it's all about getting tight, even through the warm-up sets. You should be treating them like your heavy sets just so you get that motor pattern ingrained into your head setting up the same way every single time and this goes for all exercises squat deadlift the whole nine so get yourself tight get your grip all right so we're going into our first working set here 185 we have six sets of six and something i've been experimenting with was lowering the weight faster still pausing and then exploding up i think i used to lower the weight a little bit too slow so we're going to try and change that up here see how it goes All right, so after doing it this way, I have to say I feel a lot more comfortable lowering the weight a little bit faster. Now that's not to say I'm not controlling the negative. I still think you should maintain control, but I think just in the past, I might've been lowering it a little too much and actually taking away from my power. All right, so I'm gonna share with you guys how I like to do my pull-ups. And I like to go about a little wider than shoulder. I feel like if you go too wide, you're actually limiting your range of motion with your lats. So bring that in just a little bit. And you wanna focus on retracting the scapula before you pull. So sometimes you see a lot of this and you see the back collapse forward and the shoulders round forward. We wanna keep that back and down, flare those lats out and pull through the elbows. So it should look like this. Retract, pull, back down. Up, back down, up back down and watch me retract in the beginning of the movement so right now i'm not retracted get those shoulder blades back pull 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 all right so let's take a look at some pull-ups from the front you oftentimes see a lot of people around their shoulders forward because they try and pull up way too high so you see a lot of this and you see the shoulders rounding forward at the top taking tension off of the lats of the back so Focus on constant tension on the lats, retracting the scapula, and only going as high as you need to go. So we start off, we retract. This right here is perfect for a full pull-up. My lats are contracted. Back down, stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, stretch, and squeeze. All right, not too much to explain here. Hammer strength row, supinated grip. Really, again, focusing on that lat stretch. Pull back. You could do this with two arms or one arm. I prefer doing one arm at a time to really isolate each side. Same here. Get a big stretch here in the lats. Pull through the elbow. Squeeze and hold. 
All right, so that's pretty much going to conclude the video. I apologize for the lack of training footage. My camera died mid-workout, so I wasn't able to film anything else, but I hope this video helped you out in some way. Maybe some of the live tips that I gave during the voiceover, you can incorporate into your training and that will help you out. So if you enjoyed that, as always, don't forget to click that thumbs up button as that really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And if you're looking for an online coach for macros or customized training programs or anything like that, my email is maddie at fusarofitness.com and the website and links are in the description box below. So thanks again, everyone, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you.